Earlier this week, we told you the story of John Wyckoff. He faces multiple counts of child molesting. One of his victims credits the teen novel Speak with helping to come forward about the abuse. That inspired News 10's John Swanner to learn more about this book. The question, why it's so inspiring, how it helps victims come forward, and why in some places it's banned. One victim recounted two to three hundred instances of alleged sexual abuse at the hands of John Wyckoff. The victim only came forward after someone younger told similar stories of Wyckoff. This younger victim read Laurie Hulse Anderson's novel Speak as part of English class. This book changed that victim's life. It's about a teenage girl, a freshman in high school, who um, is a victim of a sexual assault. Holly Kurtzinger is the teen librarian at the Vigo County Public Library, where Speak is available for checkout. She says the main character, Melinda, calls police to bust up a party which ostracizes her from her small hometown. But Melinda hides the fact she was raped at that same party and she then had to face her attacker almost daily. So she has to learn to kind of compartmentalize her experience to get through her day to day life. It's only when she opens up about the truth do things change for Melinda. Not unlike our local victim, Anderson's story has impacted many. She can attest to a number of um, fan mail, fan letters and things where she's had correspondence um, indicating that because of her work, um, people have come forward. Kurtzinger says parts of the book are certainly emotional and powerful. Some places have banned speak because of its language and subject matter. The library chooses to put that decision into the hands of parents. And we feel strongly that only the parent should be allowed to um, decide if material is inappropriate for their child. In Terre Haute, I'm John Swanner, News 10. Next week is Banned Book Week at the Vigo County Public Library. This is where you can learn more about books that have been banned in some capacity.